Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys, whenever you guys are watching this video. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm looking all crazy this morning. I'm about to take my shower and get dressed and go run an errand. Look at my hair. <laughs> I actually need to redo my hair. Thinking of coloring it maybe darker, like my natural brown hair, and then do sort of like, I don't know. Some highlights here I forgot what that's called not highlights but I don't remember I don't know what it's called like up in the front a different color try something new and something different anyway the reason why I'm on this video today is because to let you know guys that he left me he left us and I'm so heartbroken I can't believe he did it but I'm gonna explain to you soon. I'm going to jump in the shower, I'm gonna come out and then you guys can continue to get ready with me. Okay, I'm showered, clean and dressed. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start doing my hair and then put a little bit of makeup. Please don't judge me on the makeup. I'm not a makeup guru, guru or anything like that. I just put basic, a little bit of makeup, some, a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara. That's about it, lip gloss or lipstick. But anyway, that was not the point of this video. The video is not about me doing my makeup or showing you how I do my makeup. It's more so just, let's just chit chat about life, kids, <laughs> and what moms go through. I had to turn my camera, guys, because there was sort of echoing. I had to open the door. I just had to turn my camera a different way, but anyway. <laughs> um. So as I was saying, my baby left us. I am so heartbroken, guys. You don't even understand. <laughs> as you all know, you know, I have an older son. He's already an adult, you know. He's 18, about to be 19. And um, he moved out. He left us. He's been, um, he's moved. He moved about... I'm gonna say a week ago, a week and a half ago, he moved out. He never really liked Pennsylvania. We've been living here for about five, over five years, and he never really liked it. He's a city boy, just like I'm a city girl. <laughs> and um, so he more likes the vibe of the city life. So he moved, he moved to Florida. Um, he did live out there for a year um, when he was about 14, going on 15. He moved out there for about a year. Um, he started high school out there and then he came back. And then he was he was here with us since he came back and um, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Even as an adult, he doesn't really, he didn't really want to be here. But I was so heartbroken. You know, I knew he wanted to leave. I knew that this was not the place that he wanted to um live in and i understood that and i get that because as i said i'm a city girl myself and i can kind of understand where he's coming from you know he wants more opportunities in a bigger city and things like that so i get it so i let him go um he found a place of his own so he's living on his own which I'm proud of him for even being able to or even have the guts to go and move out on his own um in his own apartment and things like that but I was so heartbroken guys I I don't even remember when was the last time I ever felt that heartbroken but I'm telling you I knew it was gonna be sad because that's my baby he's my firstborn and things like that but I never knew that I was gonna feel this <laughs> heartbroken and sad you know I knew it was gonna be a little emotional and you know maybe a tear too but no <laughs> it wasn't a tear too the day that he left he left in the morning he caught a ride to the airport I, I couldn't even take him to the airport I couldn't do it I had asked my supervisor for permission to leave and come back because as you you know some of you guys know I work from home but I couldn't do it because I knew that on my way there, I was probably going to cry half of the way there. And when he leaves and cry all the way back, <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. So, you know, he caught a ride and they took him to the airport and he was fine and things like that. He got to Florida. He's good. Um, 
But I'm telling you that morning when he left, oh my gosh, that's when the water, I didn't let him see me cry, but the waterworks, you don't even understand. I came back into the house. I was just crying. I'm telling you, I think I cried half, for half of the day on and off. He left. I came back. I was crying. I was thinking about him. And every time I would go in his room, because I had to go in his room because he still has some stuff here that I have to ship out for him. We were just waiting for him to get the keys to the apartment before I shipped those things out. I had to go in there to kind of clean up and then pack a few of the things that he left there. Oh my gosh. Every time I would go into that room that day, I would just start crying. I couldn't help myself. It was just an overwhelming, sad feeling that I could not help. And I'm like, God help me. I'm like, and I have to go through this four more times with the remaining of my kids. I'm like, this is just too much. But anyway, for the first two days, I was sad. You know, I'm not that I'm not sad now. I am. I miss him so much, you know, even though he was a pain in my behind and he was my rebel child. <laughs> but I miss him. But those, oh, I never felt heartbreak like I did that day. Or maybe I have, but I don't remember it. But this is one of the times that I couldn't believe it. Oh, my goodness. That's my baby. Comment down below if you guys have ever felt like a heartbreak like that. I mean, I'm sure, you know, there are relationships, you know, you're young, you get those heartbreaks and things like that. But it was like an overwhelming sadness that you couldn't even help it. But the tears, you know, sometimes you can kind of hold them in a little bit. No, <laughs> these things were coming down. <sighs> but I miss him so much. But yes, you know, he left us, you know, my kids. For the most part, we're a little sad. Of course, my, my oldest daughter, she's like, oh, I'm getting my room back. <laughs> you know, when he left the first time, my daughter had taken that room for her, my oldest daughter. So she had that room, so it was painted purple and everything. But when he came back, <laughs> he had to take his room back. So now she's kind of happy that she can go back into that room because she fights. They, she bickers a lot. When they love each other, but they bicker, as you know, siblings how they can be. Um, so she's kind of happy to be in her room, but I'm sure they all miss him. My other son, my youngest son misses Noah, you know? So it's kind of sad and it's not like if I can be like, oh, I'll go around in a few minutes or go around the corner to see him. No, it's like a two and a half hour flight from here to there, even though that's not long and it's not bad. And to Florida is not super expensive to fly to, but it's not the same. It's not the same. I tried to convince him to stay nearby where I can actually drive to see him, but he did not. He was not having it. He would. He did not want to be in Pennsylvania at all. He just wanted to leave. And like I said, I don't blame him. I could. I can under totally understand um, where he's coming from in terms of, um, I'm actually, instead of using the mirror, I'm using the camera to look at myself, but anyway, and I could totally relate to him, you know, he's used to the city, and it's not only that in terms of the city, it's also because we don't really have family out here, he has a few friends out here, of course, he has friends from his high school and things like that, but in terms of family, like, you know, oh boy, what's wrong with this now? What is wrong with this? Like the spring upwards. Oh boy. You know, we don't really have like much family around here that we can kind of go see or hang out with or of his, of his age. So I can get it. I get it. Um over there in Florida, he does have some family and he has a few of his high school friends that he used to go to uh, high school with out there that um, he's gonna meet up with, which I told them, be careful with what everything is going on in the world nowadays. You know what I'm talking about? Um, they be careful with meeting up with people, social distancing and all that other stuff because Florida, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. A lot of people out there kind of, you know, they just, kind of not taking too much precautions or whatever it is. Um, 
I have flyaway hairs. I don't even understand. Look at this. As much as I put, I put spray and everything, I still have those flyaway hairs. Whatever. So yeah. So he's out there. He he says he likes it. I mean, I told them, you know, you lived out there for a year, but you lived out there with you were living with family. You know, you were living with other people. So it's not the same when you're living by yourself. You know, there's going to be a period of time where you are going to be bored. Just like you were bored here, you're going to be bored over there, especially that you're living on your own. You know? So I said, but I guess you'll get used to it and things like that. Put some coconut oil on these. <laughs> <laughs> my hair because I don't I do not have straight hair my hair is wavy so it's like I don't know and my hair gets dry a lot so yeah that's what's going on as a mother you you, I don't know, you like raise your children, you sacrifice yourself, you know, you do what you have to do for them and then they just leave you. <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess that's life. And then I just thought about it. I just sat and thought and I said, you know what? I could imagine what my mother felt when I left. I left when I was 20. <laughs> I moved out when I was 20 and that's kind of so young, you know, you're still naive, you know. Um, if you guys want to hear the story about that, comment down below and I can make another video talking about how, what it felt like, how I did it, how I moved out and how it went for me and all of the whole process. It, it was a little bit, it's a little bit of a story because <laughs> you know, when you're young, you're naive, you don't, you don't know, you think, you know, and that's the problem. You think you know it all and you don't. I mean, to be honest with you, it, it didn't turn out to be that bad for me, you know. But yeah, it was a little bit of a process until I got really settled and things like that in a part. It was just a process. If you guys want to hear it, comment down below and let me know if you want to hear that story about how I moved out, um, how it went, what was the process, what things, you know, did I have to go through. Um, it's always a story, you know. It's always life, it's things happen you know, as you're just experience life, you know, that's a life. But yeah, um, I just couldn't imagine how my mother felt when I moved. And at that, I was moving close by to my mother. When I first moved, I was literally close by. I could walk to her house so she could walk to mine. But she didn't want me to leave, so. But like I said, if you want me to explain that, I can explain that in a different video. But yeah, it's just like, I could relate now to her what she felt like as a mother. As a mother, you just love your children so much. You love them so much and it's like you want to protect them and you, you kind of want to do the things for them, but you can't. You have to let them grow. You have to let them live. You have to let them experience things for themselves, you know. You know, unfortunately, you can't do it all for them and they do have to learn how to uh, be more independent and do things on their own. Although my son thinks I'm his secretary or personal assistant. <laughs> because that's, you know, whenever he has issues, he's calling me. How do you do this? How do you do it? Like, I'm like, okay, when I moved out, I didn't have to ask any of those things. But whatever. So, you know, I help him on, and, you know, so he can get, until he gets acclimated to living on his own. But guys, I have to go through this four more times. Comment down below if you guys have already gone through this or are dreading going through this. <laughs> um, it's just like a little piece of the puzzle that's missing, unfortunately, and it, that's just life. We all have done it, I did it. We all have done it, we all have moved away, and I'm sure our parents have just dreaded the day that we left, or they, or who knows, or they probably at the beginning were like, oh yes, when you all be happy, because you know, <laughs> I used to tell myself like, yeah, when you used to say, oh, I'm moving, I was like, good. I was like, one less to the crew. But, you know, obviously, I was joking. I wasn't serious. And it's a little piece of the puzzle missing. And I just 
wish that we could all be living like close to each other in the same state or not so far too far from each other you know because like i said i'm out here in pennsylvania my husband has family in new jersey my my number one supporter which is my mother is in new york and i have friends childhood friends and other friends that i made along the way in new york so it's like everybody's just so scattered you know and it's kind of sad especially like look at my kids i'm like you know they should be with their family you know with their cousins all of that stuff but we all live scattered so we, we live away you know it's not that far away but you know still it's not like we can get up one day and be like oh in 10 minutes i'll be in your house or they can come it's just that's that's just life how it is you know like i said i wish we all lived close to each other it would make life so much easier we can spend so much more time together but that is life and I'm just talking away and just <laughs> not even finishing doing what I'm doing. I'm almost going to be done because, like I said, I don't do much with my face. I don't, I don't, I'm not a makeup person. I don't do anything special to my face. And all these people do their makeup toner and all this other stuff, concealer. I do have a little bit of concealer that I use sometimes, but I'm not putting that on. Just hate the feel of all that stuff on your face. Even though I put just a little bit to try to hide you know, the dark circles right there, but whatever. I don't think it does too much of a difference. Probably I'm putting it all wrong, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me do that because I do have to go on some errands. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what's been going on for the past <laughs> few weeks because before he left, I was also helping him try to get um his stuff together for this apartment like i said he thought i was a personal assistant so that's what exactly what i was doing helping him, him out getting the apartment um but thank god everything going well for him and everything else like that with him and what else in the last video i promised you guys to upload that whole family week trip we took to florida I did upload the video. I think one of you guys viewed the video, but I had to take the video down. I had to take the video down because I got copyrighted. <laughs> I'm new to this YouTube thing, guys, so be patient with me. I uploaded it, I edited, I made an intro and outro and everything, and I, I, I had, like, I had recorded, like, our Airbnb and when we went into the Magic Kingdom and all of that and at Universal, and they copyrighted me. I guess it's because of certain things that I recorded that I was I should have made, like, I don't know. I have to figure that out. I have the video set to be uploaded. I just have to go back and re-edit it and take some stuff out or do, like, uh, music over it because yeah i just took the video down i was i uploaded it at night it was taking so long for it to go through that i went to sleep and when i woke up in the morning and went to view it i got copyrighted i'm sure it was by them you know but i took the video down i, I was like i don't know i'm not too youtube savvy and whatever so i have to figure out what i'm gonna cut out of that video and what I'm, what i can keep so i don't get copyrighted again even though i'm not you know even though it doesn't matter at this point but i think one of you viewed it but i had to take it down so i did try to upload that um like a week after my last video that i posted and that didn't work out so I'm going to try to re-edit it and see what the issue was because, you know, when I did it, I didn't do it on my computer. I did it on my phone and then I, I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I went to sleep, so I have no idea what happened in, in between <laughs> that night and the morning when I woke up. So I had to go back and do that. Um, and I edited and I was so happy with the video. I, I thought you guys were going to like it, but I had to take it down, so... I'll figure that one out. It's going to take me a little bit, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, 
so yeah that's all that's been going on right now work kids going to school the whole stuff that's going on in this world right now who knows if they'll ever go back to remote but they're you know in school now so they're happy to be with their friends and stuff like that i mean they they, they were in school before that but yeah they're they're doing okay thank god you know nobody has get, gotten sick or anything like that um so the kids are doing good they stay masked masked up at school and make sure that i tell them all the time listen <laughs> keep it on i don't care even for their activities my two girls they go to dance i'm like you gotta keep the mask on if you need a mask break you can do it apart away from other people and then put it back on i don't play with that <clears throat> but the kids are doing well and things like that um and that's it you know we're almost in October. The months have flown by so quickly, guys. I don't I, I don't even understand. That's just insane how time has has flown by. Um Yeah. Before you know it, January will be here. The holidays will be over in January will be here because that's just how it is. Months go by fast. But for my people out there in Florida, I will be going out there. So now it's an, another excuse for me to go back to Florida. Because, you know, as I said before, Florida is my home away from home. I've always liked Florida. Florida has a vibe to it. It's like, I feel like Florida is like a combination of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania suburbs. Because you have suburban areas out there. Um, and actually, I like florida a lot it's, it's a whole vibe out there and I, that's why i said i get it warm i still wanted to go out there but it gives me an, more of an excuse to go out there you know i have family out there have my dad lives out there you know i have a couple of friends and um and now my son so i'm going to probably go out there at the beginning of the year next year so maybe january february um, i kind of want to go to you know, just make sure that he's okay because I'm not just going to leave them out there and not know what's going on. I'm, I'm actually going to go and, um, you know, just make sure that he's okay and look at where he lives. You know, I like to look up reviews of the place, but it's not the same as you're actually going there and looking at it. So, yeah, I'm going to go see him. Um the beginning of next year to make sure he's okay he might be coming for the holidays but i don't know but um i'm gonna go out there and go take check him out and just make sure he's okay for my peace of mind of course where is my okay i'm looking for stuff here now that i know <laughs> it's in this bag look at this guys i have this whole bag <laughs> of makeup and I don't even use half of that stuff I just have it there and I probably use the wrong um this is what I use to put on a little bit of eyeshadow well, this is not the correct brush but whatever yeah guys so if you guys have ever been through it with your kids or anybody, that heartbreak, that feeling, that was just like, I have not felt that in a while. Like in a long time, maybe I did. I don't even remember, to be honest, when was the last time I felt like that overwhelming sadness feeling. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that I was just crying like that. Well, obviously that's my baby, that's my firstborn. You know, so it's like, you know, he's been with me for his whole life up until now. So, you know, I pray for him every day so he could be safe, <laughs> make the right decisions because, you know, they think they've grown and that they know it all. So I pray. What can we do? That's life. Mascara. 
actually I think one of the <laughs> the things that I would use the most is the mascara because I like you know I like the way the eyelashes look and I like the eyeshadow too you can see a little bit of it I don't put too much like I said but I think mascara and lipstick would be my two items that I would always take with me like I like those two Oh boy. Let me know what type of uh, mascara you guys actually use. You know what? Instead of that, I could do it like this. I use the, what is this? Cover Girl Clump Crusher Water Resistant. And it's the very black. See, I don't know if you guys can see it. Did I put it upside down? There you go. It's like the cover girl, the green one. I actually like this one. I've tried different ones, but I think this one is the one I like the best. I like the mascara. You can see it a little bit more. All right. I'm going to finish this up because <laughs> I can't do For this, I can't multitask. Um, and I'll be back. All righty. All right, guys. So this is my final look. <laughs> Like I said, I don't put too much makeup. I just put a little bit. I finished my um, eye eyeshadow and my mascara and then just some lipstick or lip gloss, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to cut this right here because I've made the video a little bit too long. Um, <laughs> letting you guys know about, um, you know, my baby leaving me. And you guys getting ready for me so i'm gonna run out and make uh do some errands that i have to do and just i just want to leave you guys off with this just love your babies give them a good foundation pray over them enjoy them because they grow up so fast like i said days months years go by so quickly and before you know it it's just it's just just like that they just grow <laughs> And then they leave you, <laughs> which is very heartbreaking. But you know that, you know, they have to leave one day. You know, you did it. We all did it. We moved away. We did our, you know, we had to, you know, start our lives as adults. Um, but just love them. Pray for them and just enjoy them every moment that you can, you know, overlook the little minor things because sometimes we tend to concentrate on, you know, the things that are going on in life, the negative things. Just try to be positive as best as you can every day. Love yourself, which is number one. I always say that. Love yourself, love God, and then love everyone else. You know, people be like, oh, my kids come first. Yes, your kids do come first, but you have to be healthy. You have to be um, right so you can actually take care of those kids and everyone else. So just love yourself, love your babies, love God positivity all the time even if things go wrong and you kind of pawn on those things a little bit but just let it go and just move forward guys so i will leave you with that until the next video Mwah.